Hey guys, Joey here from Jollop Lures. We're here in the Jollop Lure uh, shop, you could say, um, bringing to you one of our videos we're going to do from now on. Um, when we get time, we're going to put some little videos together, keep you guys entertained uh, while the world is doing what it's doing. Um, everyone's staying at home, people want content to watch. I'm going to provide you with some content. So, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, hasn't happened. Now it's happening. So basically, the first video we're gonna do to see if even you guys like it is we're just gonna pick a lure and we're gonna make it. Um, this lure is gonna involve things I've never done before. Um, I could totally stuff it up and it could end up in the wood pile for the fire. Let's give it a crack. I also forgot to mention that my microphone has decided to pack it in and it's making a silly clicking noise. So my voice probably sounds absolutely terrible throughout this video, but hey, you're gonna, you don't wanna listen to me, you wanna watch what we're doing. So this video, we're gonna make a yellow belly glide bait. That's right, a yellow belly. So I've printed out a yellow belly here. Um, yeah, we're gonna trace it out, chop it out, Simple, we're gonna go from there. Yellow belly, who doesn't love a uh, yellow belly? How long is it? It's pretty big, it's probably gonna be like a 1 8. So, I want to pick a piece of wood where there's no cracks or anything like that. I think that should be that should be pretty nice. This is rough as you can glue the template onto the wood, but. I don't have time for that. I just want to trace it on and chop it out. I think sometimes when you don't follow exactly the shape too, it ends up just that little bit quirky, that little bit more natural, a little bit more rough, what we like. so much quicker. I'm literally moving the camera. I've spent more time positioning the camera than I have making the lure. Anyway, you're getting the idea, it's a yellow belly. Now, you'll notice it is, it's flat, flat sides. Um, I'm gonna keep that design. The other swim baits I make, I've got a big, I don't know if you can see in there, I've got a big tub on at the moment happening. All flat sided. Um, reason, better action, um, I find that those flat sides, it gives a natural gliding action, so we're going to keep the flat side, but we are going to round this right. Okay, router, dangerous, very, got to be careful, um, <coughs> a lot of guys just round this, because it's a flat bait, I can do it on the router, must be careful. I don't recommend doing anything. Hey, hey, can you see that there? Yeah, we're all rounded off. Starting to look like a yellow belly. We've got a nice little mouth we've put in there. I could say that that happened. That was planned to happen. That happened by accident. I'd rebated that. When the router went over it, it did it. That's cool. We're going to roll with that. Um... What are we gonna do now? Give it a little sand. Uh, 
Now, because this is my first one of these, there's going to be heaps of stuff that we miss, but that's okay. I've just done all that thinking it was recording. It wasn't recording. So, I could tell you I was a really good artist, and I've just drawn all that on there, but I traced it. So, I'm not a good artist. Great, we missed all that. Okay, cool. I've just traced on the detail. You probably missed where I said that I'm not going to put heaps of fine, like there's more detail in the gills. Uh, we're just keeping it simple, like super, super simple. Um, what are we going to do next? I just had a thought about the eyes. I was wondering what colour eyes Yellow Belly has. Let's have a look. Golden perch eyes. Miz. Come on. Colour is a golden perch's eye. I'm gonna say that that's red. Red? Kind of blacky, reddy kind of colour. Um, For this lure, I wouldn't normally, I'd just normally put my sort of stick on eyes, but we're gonna rebate some eyes into this. I think it's gonna look way cooler. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So, have the camera off and you can see we're starting to carve some detail into the yellow belly. And I was getting right into the swing of it and a parcel just arrived. Which means I have to get back into doing real lure work instead of mucking around with this really cool yellow belly that could consume lots of time. But it's taking shape, looks pretty cool, starting to look like a yellow belly, carve some of the detail in there. And no, a machine doesn't do it. A two dollar stupid little knife does it. So. There we go. I'll see you when I return. So guys, I've been just carving away. Um, I've actually put the eye sockets in as well. Probably should have showed you that, but Super simple, just on the drill press over there, so that's not rocket science, it's just a 10 mil hole. I've just put those in there because, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but yellow belly have super small eyes. That's one thing that I've always looked at the yellow belly and gone, oh, they just look funny. They've got such a big head and little eyes, so that's, I think, going to be pretty accurate. Um, on the scale of the body. I'm not probably going to actually run with that red eye I've just stuck that in there because I think it looks cool as I'm carving it. So you see I've got the fin detail um, got The gill detail. I've actually done a bit of a mouth detail. I've got to finish that there I've done this gill. I've just got the fin to go on that side and that um, Thought I'd just give you a progress just to show I wasn't cheating and getting someone else to do it. I'm actually doing it um, Yeah, we'll uh, probably come back into you guys when we're drilling some holes in it. Alrighty guys, we've basically finished the carving off now. Um, oh, I'm talking so quiet because it's like nine something at night also. I'm not whispering for no reason. So yeah, basically um, matched up the carvings on both sides the best I could. I'm no expert at this. Um, I haven't carved much at all. The little mouth on the front there. Um, I've just noticed that my fin details a lot deeper on this side than this side, so I'm just going to fix that up. Um, I've given it a rough sand, but I'm not too stressed about that now because I've got to sand properly before I coat anyway, so we'll do the sanding later on. Um, so basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to mark out the joint. Um, I'm going to join this away. I've never joined it before. Um, not a conventional join, like a pin join. Um, I think it's going to be stronger. Um, we're going to work out how much lead we need to put in this. Let's do that. Now. So one thing you'll learn when you make swim baits, I only know this because I've learned from error, is you don't want the swim bait in the water. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm saying swim bait. It's glide bait. You don't want it sitting like this. Um, what happens is when you wind, it's just going to come up. 
Now, a typical glide bait like that would be designed in the US is going to be super, they fish their super slow sinks over there and just big shallow glides. We're going to load this with lead. We want this to go to the bottom. This is going to be fished at Cobden. Um, guys aren't, they want it to get down. They like Guys are fishing gantrels and stuff like that and the chin weights and stuff. So you want this to down to the bottom. So it's probably not like the conventional glide bait that's super slow, slow. With that. It's going to still have that nice wide action, but it's going to drop. So let's load this with lead. Oh, also... You, you would normally use a lead pot for this. You drill out your holes, drop in with the lead pot. I don't do enough this to warrant a lead pot, so I just use sinkers. It sounds stupid, but once they're glued in, no one knows the difference. The beauty thing about sinkers is I know exactly how much weight I've put in. Like, I'll use my certain weight sinker for this one, but I'll know exactly how many goes in, so if I make another one of these, I can just drill the holes and drop it in. I don't have to worry about it. So, yeah. Let's drill it. There you go. Oh, our beautiful lead holes. It's quite crucial that when you drill these, um, you actually drill them in the center. Because um, if you drill one side, your live boat's going to sit like this. So that's pretty crucial. If you start to drill your hole and it is a little bit off center, just counteract it and point it across the other way so you sort of level itself out a little bit. Little tip. Lead is in. Oi. Oi. Hey right guys, we're here with uh, the update. I sort of went a little bit rogue off camera. Um, so last time like, we checked in, we had done all the detail and all that. Eye socket, um, we've done the lead, yep, all good. You want it? And you chop the wood. Kids. No one ever said timber lure making is easy. Just seal that up. It's like 10 something at night. I've just sealed that up, let it dry. And I thought, I'm just going to quickly throw it in the tank just to make sure it sinks. Well, I've miscalculated totally with the weight. But it's not a problem, we can just add more in. Lucky we've got it at this stage. If it wasn't 10 o'clock at night, I'd fire up the drill press, but it's rather rattly and kind of noisy, and I don't want to annoy anybody, hence why I'm just going to do this nice and quietly. I'm not stupid, but that's why I'm doing it. So we've just added like 40 grams to that. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but 40 grams is a lot. It's about 40 grams. Radio right, goers, you know what this means? Painting day. Finally painting day, the yellow belly. It's been about a week since I've done anything. I've actually had to do normal lure jobs. So here we go, there he is. He's all ready to go, got the other half down there. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've been uh, probably the last hour trying to work out how to paint this thing. I want it to look like a yellow belly, I don't want it just to look yellow and black. So I grabbed another lure I had there, primed, and I did a little random technique, I just threw it off. I actually found it by accident just earlier, so it looks awesome. So let's do it, let's, uh, let's get creative, um, I'll talk you through it, um, first first. Yellow belly has a yellow belly. That's where we're gonna start. Yellow belly fades at the top. just getting into painting and people just say yeah you can do it with the cheaper brand ones um, 
it's like going fishing with a fifty dollar combo. Like it's not pleasant. Um, having a good airbrush makes you look like a champion of a painter. Um, I've used the cheaper brushes when I first started, and they just they they're just not for me. Um, this is the gravity fed. Uh, a lot of guys use the suction pot in the bottom. I don't like them. I'd rather just put what paint I want in. And down the bottom here, I've just got a little inline water trap too, just to stop any moisture getting in that last little bit. But yeah, that's the setup. Last final touch. Look at those eyes. <laughs> I found those in my kit. They look stunning. Let's get this thing cleared and show you the finished product. exactly what we wanted, just that natural gliding action. So there he is, you can see him in the sun. He, he's come out absolutely awesome. Super stoked at how it is come out. And it's sort of like a medium rate, sink rate. Um, I haven't weighed it yet, but that'll be in the next little video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the swimming action. Um, so yeah, basically, let me know what you feel, uh, thought of this video. If you want to watch any more, um, comment, sub definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the best way we know that you like watching what we're doing but yeah more of this sort of thing uh, to come um, this lure is going to be for sale on our Facebook page as an auction so keep posted with that one so uh, let's check out the swimming action <laughs> 